Good afternoon, guys. It is noisy as heck. And by the highway is awesome. But anyway. Um, today is June 10th. And it's mine and Julie's 10-year wedding anniversary. Yeah, 10 years she's been putting up with me. Dealing with my antics and strange behavior. Um, but yeah, it's been it's been a really wild ride. Um, you know, as some of you guys know, uh, a lot of my health issues happened. Uh, like the, it started the day of my wedding, or our wedding, and. Um, you know, while uh, we were away on honeymoon, I ended up in the hospital and, uh, you know, got really ill. Lost a lot of, uh, lost a lot of blood and lost about 20 pounds in a week and, you know, was in rough shape. And things kind of went downhill after that, even after, uh, after the honeymoon and, you know, the for our first year together, uh, we had a couple of surgeries I had to go through, and um, you know things just got really rough for a while. And um, you know, we were tested. We we had a rough go at it, and uh, you know uh, we persevered. It's uh, ten years later. We've got two kids. Um, you know, we love each other just as much as we did the day of, if not more. And, uh, you know, we've really come a long way. And, you know, I'm proud to say that we've made it this far. So, And, uh, you know, I'm hopeful for the future and that, uh, you know, we have many more years to come. Uh, today, we're going out taking her to see a, a movie we're going to go see the new Captain America movie at the theater uh, I know it's been out since May but out here in Hearst it takes a while to get the newest movie um, so we're watching that I'm taking her out for dinner I surprised her with a little card that uh, I wrote for her um, another little poem and uh, hopefully she'll like it we're gonna have a date night the girls are getting watched by our unbiological daughter <laughs> we nicknamed our neighbor our unbiological daughter uh, she, friend of the family who takes really good care of the kids and we've come to get a little quite close to so um, she's going to watch the girls and the girls are going to have some fun tonight watch some movies or whatever so it'll be good um, Julie is just having a little nap and uh, it's about two o'clock in the afternoon we're going to get ready to leave soon um, go do some running around in town together and whatnot, and uh, yeah, it'll be good. So, anyway, I'm gonna get out of the black flies here, go get dressed, and we'll talk to you later. So, we're in the living room. Julie's doing what she does best. Come on, you always catch me with my blanket on the couch. Stop it, you're doing it on purpose. God, I will just nap people I work. Uh-huh. She does work. I'm just bugging her. Very dedicated housewife. Yes. The house is actually rather clean today. Today? <laughs> anyway, last weekend, I was home, and... On Saturday, which is the last day before I go 
back to Oba, our fridge died. Our fridge, we had it for 12 years. Um, we got it when we first moved in together and her parents bought it for us as a housewarming gift when we got our first apartment. So we had it for quite a long time and it never cost us a thing and it didn't owe us a thing so it just kind of sucked because it broke down at a time where we didn't really want to spend money on a new fridge. Um, however, we decided to get the one we've wanted for a long, long time. Um, since we moved here, we we planned on making this house our dream house. Um, it's coming along. There's still lots to work of work to do, but it's coming along. So we started out when we first moved here with this microwave hood range thing from Frigidaire. Um, bought this three years ago with the intention of building our dream kitchen and getting stainless steel appliances and all that other stuff. And then for Mother's Day of the first year we were here, I got Julie the dishwasher. Same make and group. And then we've been eyeballing fridges for a long time because our fridge was starting to break. Shelving was broken and things like that. And we had a big hole in our cupboards to fit a giant fridge, but we had a regular sized fridge here. Uh, it was a Kenmore or something, I think, or something from Sears. It was a good fridge, but anyway, it broke down, so we decided we are going to fill it up, fill in the hole with the size fridge that was supposed to be there. So we bought a Cadillac fridge it's massive and it fits the hole perfectly I don't know if you can see that very efficiently but it fits the hole I had to trim the cupboards a little bit on the top just to make room for it but it works and we have tons of room for the kids, food, and Julie's unruly habit of overstocking the fridge with stuff. So it's awesome. We got lots of room now. So we're at the store. We're at the restaurant. And I'm just grabbing the card that I got Julie got the card. I told her I was coming here to get some wipes, but I fit. <laughs> so yeah, it'll be fun. Let's see what happens. It's freaking nice today. Or tonight, I should say. So, what are you eating, dear? Chicken fingers. Yeah. Mm. Passion. And I have chicken fingers and fries and a Pepsi. Because that's how I roll. What are you doing playing with your phone? I'm looking for a song to show you. Look, I'm not even texting or Facebooking. That's okay. What are you doing with your phone? I'm recording you because I'm giving you a card. I didn't even get you a freaking card because I thought our fridge was it. Good thing I made you a nice video. Right? Yep. Should I have gotten you a card now? Now I'm feeling guilty. Don't feel guilty. Well, I kind of do. No. You gotta read it. I'm not reading it out loud. You gotta read I'm it. In a restaurant. <laughs> read it out loud. No. Come on. No. Read it. No. I'm crying on the video. We'll do it. 
we'll do it not in the restaurant. When we're out of the restaurant, I'll read it. No, I'm recording this right now. Read it. No. Do it. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Can't even start reading it. Okay. Wait, okay. Okay, it's off. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Is that the good guy? I'm halfway there and I'm not. <laughs> 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 I'm not doing anything. Okay, don't ugly cry. <laughs> I made you cry. <laughs> My mission was a success. I think you're watery-eyed too, dear. <laughs> Just read it. No. You read it. You read it. You read it. Why? Because I want you to cry. I'm not going to cry. <sighs> Julie, another year has come and gone. Our love for each other is forever strong. You're, you've done what you do. You've done what you do best. You've stood by me and cared for me unlike the rest. Most people would leave and would be unable to deal, but you laughed, you toughed it out when things got real. You're the reason I live, the reason I'm well. You're the reason I stood up to answer that bell. People say I'm a fighter, that I defy the odds. But if you weren't, if it weren't for you, I'd be with the gods. You're the food in my soul, my true happiness. You're the reason I smile when things are a mess. Thank you for a great 10 years. Happy anniversary, XOXO. You didn't cry, see? No tears this time. No. <sighs> <laughs> Happy anniversary. Love you. Love you too, dear. Hello, dear. What are you having? Chocolate milkshake, but it's been broken. Aww. Water is soft, serve ice cream cold. Stop wrinkling your forehead. There you go. And we are at the Hearst Theater. And we're going to watch Captain America!